Hey guys, Mike here with Vistrafin Gaming. Welcome to episode 0 of Leaving Line Down. Now, there's two questions with episode 0 that I'm hoping to answer. One is what is the developer's story in creating this game? And two, what is the story leading up to episode 1 of our gameplay? Well, let's get orientated. What is the developer's story in creating this game? Well, East Shade Studios was founded in December 2013 by Daniel Wyman, a former Sucker Punch Productions environment artist. After a year and a half working at Sucker Punch, he quit his job to build the world of East Shade. The studio team is about five people with their goals to make worlds that feel like real places, explored through nonviolent mechanics. Leave and Line Down was born in September 2016 when the developers decided to take a break from their primary game, East Shade, to make a small spin off. The game's founder, Wyman, said he wanted to do this for three reasons. First, to give them a chance to experience the process of shipping a game. Second, to get additional funding to supplement East Shade's development while still remaining an independent studio. And finally, third, for this game to enrich the East Shade universe by giving people a taste of this world. Sub-question, what is the primary purpose of this game? As a first-person adventure game, the purpose of this game is to showcase their upcoming title, East Shade. So, sort of like a demo, but not, I, I guess. I don't know, I haven't played the game yet we'll find out in episode one. And speaking about this title, going to the webpage, you find this. Now, what looks right here, without being too critical of the developer, it's Minecraft story mode, but with better graphics, as in not blocky, free movement in an open world, and story rich. That's not bad, but when a game uses crafting as one of their highlights, I instantly think of Minecraft. What is the story leading up to your episode one of gameplay? In an interview by the YouTuber channel, Indie Hangover, Wyvern says that this is a short, coming-of-age story. You're living out your final day home before you leave. Going to the developer's website, you get a further explanation of this. It's Clara's last day on an island where she grew up. She needs to complete preparations, visit her favorite places, and say her goodbyes before leaving on a journey she may return from. Aha, so we have a little bit of mystery to get us interested. Personally, I hope whatever you do in this minigame will carry over the main game, similar to what they did in Bioware's Mass Effect. I don't know, but I think that would be a good idea. And uh, finally, full disclosure, how did you, our dear host, get this game? Well, I was able to get this game on Steam by one of their frequent sales. I have started to become more interested in the atmospheric style of games since they seem to be more focused on the beauty of the world around you and telling a story. So, short answer, no, I did not receive this game for free and it cost me a whopping $1.59. With all that out of the way, let's move on to episode 1, Leaving Line Down. I've heard this game is short, so this will be a short series, maybe one or two episodes. The episode plus recap will probably not happen since I believe we'll be able to get through the entire story of this minigame. 